Bishop Olmsted has instructed that this letter be read in every parish in the diocese this weekend. Uh, a letter similar to it or whatever is also being read in diocese Catholic parishes throughout the United States. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I write you concerning an alarming and serious matter that negatively impacts the church in the United States directly and that strikes at the fundamental right to religious liberty for all citizens of any faith. The federal government, which claims to be of, by, and for the people, has just dealt a heavy blow to almost a quarter of those people, the Catholic population, and to the millions more who are served by the Catholic faithful. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announced this last week that almost all employers, including Catholic employers, will be forced to offer their employees health coverage that includes sterilization, abortion-inducing drugs, and contraception. Almost all health insurers will be forced to include <clears throat> those services in the insurance policies they write. Almost all individuals will be forced to buy that coverage as a part of their health insurance plan. In so ruling, the administration has cast aside the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, denying to Catholics our nation's first and most fundamental freedom, that of religious liberty. As a result, unless this rule is overturned, we Catholics will be compelled either to violate our conscience or to drop health coverage for our employees and suffer penalties for doing so. The administration's sole concession <clears throat> has been to give our institution one year to comply. We cannot, we will not comply with this unjust law. People of faith cannot be made second-class citizens. We are already joined by our brothers and sisters of all faiths and many others of goodwill in this important effort to regain our religious freedom. Our parents and grandparents did not come to these shores to help build America's cities and towns, its infrastructures and institutions, its enterprise and culture, only to have their posterity stripped of their God-given rights. Generations past, the church has always been able to count and rely <clears throat> on the, the faithful to stand up and protect her sacred rights and duties. I hope and trust she can count on this generation of Catholics to do the same. Our children and grandchildren deserve nothing less. Therefore, I ask you for two things. First, commit ourselves to prayer and fasting that wisdom and justice may prevail and religious liberty be restored. Pray the rosary asking Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, patroness of our nation, to intercede for us. Without God, we can do nothing. With God, nothing is impossible. Second, I recommend visiting www.usccb.org slash conscience to learn more about this severe assault on religious liberty and how to contact Congress to, in support of legislation that would reverse the administration's decision. United in prayer and in confidence in God's mercy, I remain sincerely yours in Christ. Thomas J. Olmsted, Bishop of Phoenix. There will be a copy of this letter in your bulletin. Uh, so that you can have the information on how to contact the, the bishop's website to get this information. Uh, for those of you that don't use a computer much, there will also be information how to contact Representative uh, Gosar uh, and Senator McCain and Senator Kyle, uh, if you would choose to do that. Okay?